Hey Chan, the Ch chairman and managing director of Nalco has joined us on the phone line for all these questions. Uh, uh, Mr. Chan, good morning and thank you very much good for joining morning. us. Uh, so, what is the, uh, what can you update us on the OFS itself? The entire 10% is going to be divested? Uh, we have offered 5% farm and 5% optional. Uh, maybe will be uh, offer will be up to 9.2, um, around 10 percent. It will less than 10 percent. It will be 9.2 percent around. It will be. That's the kind of offers you have got. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, Mr. Chan. Good morning. You know, our colleague was just telling us about the way aluminium prices have been spiking up. Uh, in your assessment, what could be the average uh, aluminium price for FY18? Uh, we are expecting that aluminium price may move. Uh, between uh, $1870 uh, to around $1950, uh, so between in a band of uh, around $80 to $90, mm -hmm. uh, it will move. Okay. okay. Uh, well, uh, how have you, uh, how have the recent uh, uh, price increases impacted you? Uh, do you all get into long-term contracts for selling aluminum? Uh, can we expect an improvement in your own margins in Q4 itself or in Q1? Yeah, but in Q4 itself, our margin has uh, significantly improved uh, because uh, aluminium segment, which was not giving that much of margin, now it has uh, started giving margin at the same time. Our volume has also increased. So both the benefit, volume uh, variance benefit and price benefit, both have come. So we are expecting a very good margin from uh, aluminium segment. Okay. So you said that 1870 to 1950. So if you take the upper end at 1950, that is almost a 14% quarter-on-quarter growth in aluminium prices compared to what we saw in Q3. What would that do to your EBITDA? Because your core EBITDA is somewhere around 700 crores as of nine months. Um, yeah. How much of an improvement can we expect in core EBITDA? What would the average be? Um, um, upper end would be 1950, even of what we are expecting. But average price, if you take in, the, uh, if you see the last three months, uh, January, February, March, in uh, January it was somewhere uh, 1700 plus, then February it became 1800 plus, in March it became 1900 plus, in April it is going 1900 and sometimes it is coming a little below the 900. So average will be somewhere around 1900. Uh, uh, 1900 or 1910 dollar oh. that we are expecting that will have definitely uh, significant impact on our uh, evita margin okay, that we are okay. Uh, sir can i come to alumina uh, what uh, we don't know lme listed prices here can you tell us the average uh, price that you are uh, realization you are getting for alumina and what's the monthly rate of output yeah uh, we are right now uh, getting um, aluminum prices um, around average, you can say around uh, 320 to 325 dollar. Mm. In fact, uh, just last month it was around 340, uh, but uh, last couple of weeks it has come down to 320, 325. Mm. So we are expecting that that will continue because uh, Chinese uh, smelters they are having a lot of uh, aluminum inventory, and uh, right now we are producing around. Uh, 2 lakh ton per month. Uh, so okay. uh, um, it is at uh, almost 100% mm. of our capacity of um, uh, aluminum refinery. Okay. 2 lakh tons, but much of it would be for in-house use, isn't it? How much would you sell? Yeah, yeah. In, uh, it would be somewhere around 55% uh, is for sale. Okay. Uh, uh, around, in a year, we sell around 1.1. Uh, million ton, okay. uh, one million ton like that. Okay. We sell it and balance we can give in our own smelters. Okay. So, what is the update as far as the Chinese imports are concerned? Uh, since the import duty was increased uh, in the budget, uh, has there been any reduction in the Chinese imports or are they still coming in? No, as far as Chinese import is concerned, it is still continuing like that. And uh, because that uh, um, uh, as it is increased here, they are also adjusting their price in such a way that again it is become cheaper actually. Oh. So that's why, uh, because as you know, the Chinese government, they provide subsidy to mm -hmm. the smelters and also they adjust their export incentive accordingly. So there is a definite push from them to uh, push more product in the export market. 
So that's why the impact is not coming and the uh, import is continuing. So is the landed price below this $1870 uh, for you? Uh, are you forced to slash prices because of that? Um, apart from becoming, uh, it is uh, becoming less because England trade is there. So there, the, when the trade component is getting added, definitely mm. that the price is becoming a little more than mm. the, uh, our price. But okay. uh, the landed price is a highly competitive there. Okay. All right. Uh, so short point. Finally, uh, uh, how, how do you think you will? Uh, what kind of a EBITDA rise are you seeing in FI17? And what may your projection for EBITDA increase in FI18? As far as 17 is concerned. We are expecting a significant increase because uh, three uh, variables we are getting advantage earlier. <coughs> aluminum segment was not becoming profitable. Now the aluminum segment from price-wise has become profitable and from volume has increased. So both volume and price benefit are coming. In aluminum segment earlier, the prices are subdued. Now the prices are higher. So there also we have increased the volume. So there are... Yeah, volume benefit and price benefit both are coming. So all the four price variables which gives a boost to the way EBITDA is quite in bullish uh, trend. So mm -hmm. we are expecting that there will be a definite increase in our EBITDA margin and that may be a significant increase. Okay, Mr. Chan, thank you for stopping by and speaking with us.